Hello everyone, there are a couple of new updates for the Material Texture Loader version 1.2. Uh, first of all, there is an installation folder. Uh, when you download the files, you get uh, something like this. Make sure you have all the files you get from Gumroad in one folder before installing. When you have that, you can drag the script into the viewport of 3 Studio Max and it will ask you to install the files and you just press yes and you are ready to go ahead and use it. One important new feature is the ability to have different filter types active. Just click this button and you will see which are available to you. You start out with three, but you can create new ones. I'm going to load in some textures from polygon.com. You will see that in the current situation, the right textures are selected for the right channels, but I can deactivate all the filters and the script will not be able to find anything. I can also apply wrong filters, the single letter one now, just wrong textures will be found. You just have to try out and see what combination works for you. You can create your own. You have to go to the scripts folder where you will find the filtering types. We can take one and copy it. You can give it a name, whichever pleases you, custom names. You can open it and you will see how the structure is being used. You can just remove some of these and type in your own new words, base color, diffuse. These are some standard ones which are already available. Save. And as soon as you have a file present which starts with name filter underscore, that file will be found as soon as you reload the filters. The Material Texture Loader now supports UDIM texture sets. I bought this girl on Gumroad and it comes with these textures, which I have given UDIM numbers. You can select all of them. The script loads them in, but it doesn't find them because I need to select my single letters filter type. Now I need to make sure that I have this UDIM texture sets checkbox activated. I press create, I press OK. I will drag this material now into the slate material editor and you will see the type of material that it creates i can also drag it now onto this character and it should display it now correctly this bar stool also has udim textures it has a similar udim texture set just select them make sure that i have the proper filters active except press create and throw it onto the appropriate object. And after throw it into the slate material editor, you will again see the type of material that it creates. The script now also gives you the ability to flip the green channel of the normal map. You can find that checkbox over here. When you create a material, the script will also apply a color correction node to the color channel of your material. We can now immediately start applying a U, Shift, and last but not least, when you create a new material, you now have an option to select this checkbox, Auto Accept Name. It's also down here. When you create a new material, a fabric plane, it will now not ask for any name. It will just automatically create a new one. You can throw it on there, and you can more quickly than normal just generate some quick materials. If you have any ideas or further suggestions on the development of this script, please let me know in the comment section and you can buy the script on Gumroad.